Sometimes when writing our code things can get a bit messy. To fix this issue we can use line comments and block comments to label our code. Line comments and block comments can be added to your code without causing the compiler to run any of the information that you put in them. This makes them ideal for labeling and organizing our code. A line comment consists of two forward slashes and then the information you would like to put. This can be used to comment out any information you do not want the compiler to run or just to label the code that you have. A line comment will only comment out any information that is placed after the two forward slashes. It will not comment out any information before the two slashes, under the two slashes, or above the two slashes. A block comment is a little different. It is similar to the line comment in that it will also comment out any information you would like it to. But block comments can comment out multiple lines, rather than just one. Any information within the forward slash and asterisk and the backward slash and asterisk will be commented out. This allows you to remove multiple layers of code from being compiled and can be useful in situations where you need to fix errors. As your code gets more and more complex, you will notice that comments get more and more useful. These basics we have been learning will begin to fall together and form our complex codes which we will be creating very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and more will be coming very soon. We will begin on this journey together, and hopefully emerge as experts in this complex multipurpose computer language. A step at a time we will emerge as experts, 